We just arrived in Lake Louise. It is minus 39. And we're a little bit like, why are we doing this? Like, are we making a mistake? Oh, it's cold. I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh. <laughs> now that is a crazy view. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, me and Kaylee are gonna be talking about how we are surviving minus 40 degree temperatures in Canada during van life. We are in store for a polar vortex, they call it. These extreme temperatures pack a painful punch, windshield making it feel like minus 50. Tonight it is supposed to get down to minus 40, feels like more minus 45 with the wind chill. Mm -hmm. There's a lot that can go wrong when it gets that cold. So we are gonna be sharing our top tips for staying safe. We are currently in Revelstoke. We just spent the last five days skiing at the mountain. It was awesome. But with the temperatures dropping down to minus 40, we are getting out of town. It's minus 20 currently right now. And we're gonna head to Lake Louise which is gonna be minus 40 tonight. Even colder, yeah. yeah. Honestly, we wanted to ski this weekend. We got the Mountain Collective Pass. We were super pumped about it. But as it turns out, it's cold everywhere in Canada right now and it's just not skiing weather. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try to maybe do some outdoor activities. Stay tuned to see if that happens for us. But we also have some pretty fun things that we do in the Rockies in Canada when it's this cold. So right. we will show you those. Let's hit the road. We both worked from the van today and every single time that we finish a day of working in here, the windshields fog up. We've got no solution to that problem. We got a little bean bag that was supposed to like suck the humidity out of the, the air. Didn't work. Look at this. You're not gonna be able to see any of this because it's overexposed. Here, let me fix that. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that is thick. It's snowing inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this thing insulates super well. Um, so we're just gonna shut that. <laughs> Later problem. Tip from a Canadian, Tim's Kip Guard works fantastic for scraping the inside of windows <laughs> in van life. Why not? Turns out that's solid ice. Oh, well, there you go. This is a good example. We uh, don't really have window coverings in our van for insulation because number one, they're expensive. And number two, we just close this whole front cab area off. When you go to sleep, we have like an insulated heavy curtain it comes across there, this is all part of fun. Probably like one of the least favorite parts of winter camping, honestly, is just dealing with, there's just like more to deal with. Everything takes a little bit more time. <laughs> While we wait for the windshield to dethaw, cause my card trick didn't work whatsoever. <laughs> Turns out it got some pretty hefty ice build up. So just currently, waiting on that. We thought we would introduce ourselves. I'm David. I'm Kaylee. And we run a travel and adventure blog called Me to Explore. We are passionate about activities that get you outside and off the beaten path. We've got a ton of travel and adventure content as well as our newest adventure, the van. So if you are into those things, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you around for our future videos. And this is our dog, Bailey. She looks like a puppy, but she's almost 13. There's a whole lot of sleeping. <laughs> the drive from Revelstoke to Golden goes to Glacier National Park and includes Rogers Pass, which is a stunning drive and we're getting quite a sunset right now. just arrived in Lake Louise. It is minus 39 and we're a little bit like, why are we doing this? Like, are we making a mistake? Decided to make dinner and we're just gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna go plug us in. <laughs> it's so cold, you walk outside and it literally takes your breath away. <gasps> so that's fun. But we're starving, so we're gonna make dinner, then make a decision. Chef Kaylee, that's cooking right. up dinner. Making some spaghetti because it's a good comfort food when it's so cold outside. While wow, Kaylee is whipping out fantastic dinner that I'm super excited for because I'm <laughs> starving. I'm gonna go over two of the many tips got for you about staying warm in freezing cold weather. One is having a heated battery. We have currently right now the Renogy Rego 400 amp hour heated battery and it's performing awesome. We would not be able to travel without a heated battery 
for sure. Number two is insulation. We spray foam the entire van with insulation and that has worked phenomenally. I think it's one of the best R values. It's also the most expensive, but it's been well worth it for us. Right now, like minus 40 outside and we're honestly pretty cozy inside the van. I know I'm wearing a jacket and everything, but I'm kind of hot. Along with the spray foam insulation, we have insulation for our windows and our skylight, which makes a huge difference. And then we also have a curtain that is a heavier material, um, a little more thermal insulated for sure. It's cold out there. Let me give you a good tucking. Big groovy. Honestly, this morning we tucked her in and she just stayed under, like completely under the covers for approximately two hours. She just loves being tucked right in. Usually we open this window when we're cooking with the propane stove and have the fan going, but these windows are both completely frozen over, <laughs> like will not budge at all. So we opted for the front window and we're just hoping that vent's all right, <laughs> really. <laughs> I looked in our pantry this morning and I saw this lid and I was like, oh, we have a uh, pasta sauce, perfect. Turns out it's salsa. So we're doing a salsa tomato soup combo for the spaghetti sauce and we're just gonna see how that goes for us. What do you think? What's your verdict on the salsa? That's good. <laughs> it's not bad, right? When it's really cold outside or the weather's crappy, we will make meals, I mean, Spaghetti is not like a super fancy meal, but mm -hmm. we usually make meals that take a little bit more time because we have more time to spend in the van. So tomorrow for breakfast, we'll probably make something delicious. Whereas if we're busy and hiking, sometimes we just have itchy van for dinner and that happens sure. too. Yeah, it's nice to treat yourself when the weather's bad though. Sure is. We're staying the night. We'll let you know in the morning if it was a huge mistake. I don't know if the van's gonna start tomorrow morning. I don't know. It was making this whining so sound when we pulled in. <laughs> The brakes were like not working all that great. When people get really cold through the night, do you think you always wake up before your heart stops beating? <laughs> yeah, let's leave it there. That's did great. I, did I just take it too dark? <laughs> oh, look at that. I just opened a bag of whoop Let's see. Guess who won? This guy. How's it feel? Great. I feel like I rule the land. Of Catan. And this is David's first win. That Big day. Terrible. I'll take it. <laughs> Look at this dog. Hasn't moved. Good day. Except for the fact that it was freezing cold, but it's kind of fun. We're gonna hit the hay. We'll see you guys in the morning. See how cold it is. Good morning. We Actually, lived through the night. Pretty cozy. Pretty cozy. <laughs> the face was a little chilly at points. Here in the kitchen, right in front of the heater, super toasty. Back of the van, by the doors, a little bit less toasty. So we Not were a so little hot. bit cold. And Beely was a part of me all night. I think she was a little bit chilly, so. The heater is on full out. I think it was, I don't think it ever went down to uh, the lower speed. But I would say it's probably around 21 in here. Yeah, it's not bad. Pretty it's nice, bad. yeah. Not bad but it's absolutely freezing outside today. It is so cold. This brings us to our next tip, and that is having a good, trusty diesel heater. It's never <laughs> left us hanging. Yeah, we had trouble with it like once, but it's it's been really good. We've had the same diesel heater for like three years. This past season, I just changed the glow plug and kind of like cleaned it out a little bit, but it was honestly pretty much fine. I also would highly recommend installing an afterburner controller. I have a video on that. That's been game changer because it'll actually come to a certain temperature and then shut down. So it won't just like keep going and get so freaking hot in here. Yeah. So we're just waking up a little bit. We've made some breakfast and we're gonna try to get outside. Push this up. There is ice on the inside of our door. Keep it in the front. <laughs> Oh my word. That's ah, gonna take a while to defrost. We got a uh, cozy 19 degrees right now. Nothing to do with staying warm, but one of our favorite purchases of this year is these little guys. They go on to our stove and just help so that little things don't <clears throat> kind of fall through. <sighs> oh Ooh. my. God, oh, it's cold, cold up there. It's not actually as frosty as I 
Oh, 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 that's so thick. <laughs> Can you get your nails through that? Wow, look how cold it is outside. I had two favorite things in the morning, bacon and coffee. Mm. The air fryer's too cold. That is legit so cold inside. I'm getting all kinds of airs. <laughs> <laughs> she broke. All right. No air fried breakfast bagels this morning. Darn. So the air fryer is also a new ish addition to the van and we absolutely love it. It's like a little oven in here. Works so well. We probably use it every day. Apparently what happens when you put hot bacon grease in a really, really cold can. Oh, this looks so good. Oh yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. The moment of truth. I don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> Minus 37. Wow. Hey, you ready to go outside and have some fun? Something sounds so good. It's just so cold. Oh, all right, guys, we're outside. It is a little nipply. But this is our campsite. So, that's the van. That's our picnic table. That's the plug in. Those are the bathrooms right there. <laughs> There's Kaylee. And we're ready to go have some fun in the winter. We love this campground because of the facilities and the price. If you come to Lake Louise and you're camping, stay at the Lake Louise campground. Awesome. Free hot water showers. Actually, right now there's a sign in there that says the hot water's off because it's so cold, but typically free hot water showers. The sites are great and the location is, you can't beat it. Oh, that sounds cool. <laughs> wow. What'd you think, Faye? <laughs> What'd you think? She's done. She's like, take me back to my warm bath. <laughs> that was so cool. So the trick with that is it has to be like boiling, boiling water. Oh, I can't even see. I don't want, I'm just fogging up. I'm just fogging up. Oh, I'm cold. It's time to go back in the van, I think. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, our wind chill is decent. It's so pretty outside. It's so cold, but it's so pretty. Time to go to our next adventure. So we're the only ones crazy enough to do this right now, which makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it checks out. No one else in the parking lot. We are at the Great Divide Trailhead, which is probably our favorite cross-country ski track ever. It's so pretty super easy to get here. It's located just on the road on the way up to Lake Louise. How do you feel about this? Uh, <laughs> I'm excited. I love skiing. It's so clear out. One thing we didn't mention is when it's super cold like this, usually it's very, very clear, sunny days. So it's absolutely beautiful outside. So we're going to go get really layered up and we'll show you what we're going to wear to survive this cold weather because that is another one of our tips is having the right gear and clothing. Hi. <laughs> Perfect. I'm just gonna put these guys in front of the heater. Get a little warm up. Layer number one, the base. <laughs> number two, fleece. Oh! <laughs> Heated sock. David needs some of these. These are like my savior in the winter time. They just have little batteries that you can charge. If you don't have heated socks, you can do uh, the little heat packs. They are better. We got these on Amazon too for like really not that much. We'll link yeah. them actually below because they I've had them for three years now and I love them. The final layer. <laughs> no skin exposed. I think we're going to be okay. Oh yeah, do it. Woo. She is cold out. It feels nice to be outside though. Me and Kaylee have kind of been hibernating for the last little while. Just a touch. It feels really good. Honestly, not bad. No such thing as cold weather. Just inappropriate dressing. <laughs> That's right. This trail though, guys. Oh, the view. It's stunning.
Now that is a crazy view. Honestly, best decision we've made all day. It is so beautiful out here. We were the first and only ones in the parking lot and on the tracks. And we're not really that cold. We bundled up efficiently. So yeah, this view is just never gets old, honestly. Ooh, it's cold. It is cold, it's dude. Cold. We were out there for 45 minutes. Nice. Yeah, we did pretty good. Ooh. Now right. it's time to get Bailey from the van and warm. <laughs> Last tip is having good tires, chains, and a shovel, just in case. You can also get some traction boards. We don't have those, but we do have chains and a shovel, which we have used before. Um, we also just got brand new tires, which have been awesome in the snow. Gotta have it, just in case. The last thing you wanna find yourself is stuck in the middle of nowhere. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, we'd love to have you around for our future videos. And we'll see you in the next one. See you next week.